storm it, win it. So that's what you watching. Remember what I said, this is Pee Wee from the Big Town. You're watching Storm It, Win It. Storm It, Win It. You're watching Storm It, Win It. Storm It, Win It. Storm It, Win It. You're watching 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 Storm It, Win It. back again with Storm It Win It here at the National Outdoor Championship and we are with Matt Setman. Uh, we just finished the first day. How did you do today, Matt? Um, I did pretty good. My peep moved halfway through the second round and I dropped some points at the bottom. So 691, which isn't ideal, but it's okay. Well, 691 is better than my score, <laughs> so not, not bad, for me at least. I saw that you could move, you were right behind me, and I saw you were a little bit hustling with it, and I saw George uh, hustling with it for you as well. Uh, but uh, it's definitely, when you pick move, it's definitely something that you, you should be worried about in the middle of competition. How many times have you shot the Nationals? Um, this will be my third time shooting Nationals. Nationals, and you yes. won it... Uh, um. I won it the first time I came, which would have been like 2013, I believe. And then the next time I came was last year, and I won it in able-bodied. <laughs> uh, and then this year I'm back in the para division, uh, so we'll see how that turns out. Well, I, I must say, when I started, I started two and a half years ago shooting, and one of the first videos that I watched online on YouTube was you. And that was super inspiring. I, I, I was just starting shooting, I was just thinking about buying my first bow, I was debating about buying a crossbow and then it came up and I was like, wow, look at that guy. He, he's such a winner. He's such an inspiration. And then I saw, whoops, this guy just broke the world record for the longest shot ever. And I'm like, I got to try that. <laughs> that. That should be good. Uh, how did that feel? Uh, it felt amazing, actually, because, you know, one thing I love about archery is that it doesn't stereotype the athlete. So even though I have no arms, I can come out here and compete with the best in the world. And if I have a good day, you can beat them. And so it just makes me feel like, you know, like I'm not normal, but kind of normal, you know? Absolutely. We've been uh, together here between all the power athletes. Uh, they're, they're doing pretty awesome. Some of them are actually doing better than uh, non-power non athletes, uh, which is awesome. It's very, I, I felt actually proud standing between you guys and shooting. Uh, you, probably you all beat me up uh, for today at least, <laughs> and I'll try to do better. Uh, with your experience, for me coming uh, this late as the game, what do you think I need to do to beat you in six months in Lancaster, for example? Uh, I feel like the biggest thing is mental prep. You gotta prep mentally for, for tournaments. It's like that little key that gets you to the next level that nobody does. For, you know, like I do visual, visualization. I'll pretend I'm here at home. And so when I get here, it's, it feels good. Like in my brain, when I'm not shooting, I will be shooting in my brain and what a good shot feels like. So when I get here and make a good shot, it's familiar done before that seems to like have helped me take my shooting to the next level other than that for all youngsters uh, watching us uh, and doing this uh, what what do you think would be the best tip you can give any young shooter starting or, or trying to get a, become a pro focus on yourself don't worry about everybody else don't worry about what the other archer shoots you can't control that only focus on what you can control and perfect that that's a good advice. I'm trying to do that. Okay, thank you very much, Matt Stethman, a real champion.